there was a, a parent. I I have a young lad. He's under he's under eleven and a half, half this year, but a couple of he's under nine and a half. So I helped out with the team, but there was this young kid parent. I I, I went to school with him myself back years ago, and and uh, he'd bring his kid to the training. He kept came to me a few times. Says this this little lad has no interest at all. Doesn't really want to be here. I find it very hard to get him to come. And I said, right, okay. So I, I asked him. I said, what what do you what do you do? You know, he said, I come I come down here, and then and then I made him go out to the backyard, and I coach him, and I said, right, what do you, what do you tell him? To do? He's, um, I tell him what to be up to the ball. You know, I tell him to explain this is the way you have to do things, and you need to improve this. And I said, right, okay. So straight away, I, I knew where the problem lay, and it wasn't the kid at nine years old. It was Daddy who really was trying to coach his own child. Now. He was best intentions in the world. But what he was pissy doing was he was critiquing his child on the way home from training every night, bumping the back of the car and then telling them what you should do right better. So by the time we lad got home, even though he may have enjoyed it, he, it anything he got out of us and he'd taken away before the time we got home. Yeah. So I said to him, uh, he says, what do you think I should do? I said, well, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I said, see, see next time you, you have him at a game or you know, you take him home from training. When he gets into the car, don't mention what he did in terms of his, of his sport. Don't critique his game. Don't tell what he did well. Don't tell what he did poorly. Just just tell him, here, you know, I was great. I really enjoyed watching you play the other night. That's all you got to say. And he goes, but no, I need to tell him once. No, you don't. Just tell him that. And that's all you say to him for the next few while. When you lift him and tell him, just tell him, that was brilliant. I love watching you play. Nothing else. Five or six words. And uh, he, say, he says, why do you say that? And it's because... That's all the child wants to hear from you. He just wants to know that daddy's happy and play, he's playing. Mm-hmm. He just wants to know. He's there. To, you are the most important male to him in his life. And all he wants to know is daddy's happy and what he's doing. So this particular guy says, this now wouldn't that be like him. You know, <laughs> this this boy, this boy was cut from a rock. And then right. hell, you know, <laughs> but he did it. And he, and he, he came to me by every weekend. He goes, he can't wait to get playing football now. He's coming down all the time. I said, what are you telling me? I said, just tell him I love watching him play. Great. So it was something I learned years ago, that a child at nine doesn't want to know that. He just wants to know, is daddy happy? Mm-hmm. Is mommy happy? And that's all they want, because they just feel if they're happy, I'm I'm happy. So there's a tip.